Hello, this is Wes Crow, and this is week 26 on the Weekly Pagan Challenge. And this week's question is, do you and how do you meditate? Other than just uh, sitting, sitting quietly and watching nature sometimes, or my chickens, or whatever the case might be, I don't really do much more in the form of meditation than that lately. When I first started meditating in Coven way back when, we do sort of like a meditation journeying type of thing. And um, that was interesting, that was a little bit more formal than there's a little bit more, more to it. Um, I got to the, it got to the point where um, friends were able to start influencing each other's um, experiences, I guess, just ever so slightly. Uh, but, but still, it was interesting. We'd words in it and tell each other what we we experienced or what we learned or things like that. Um, and sometimes people had very similar things going on there or interacting with very similar characters. When I was much younger, um, before there was smart devices and handheld electronic games and things like that, I was an only child and I was kind of one of the younger kids in my family so quite often I would have to go to adult events and I was expected to stay quiet and not make much of a fuss. So things like weddings and family reunions and things like that. There's always like candles laid out on the on the tables and whatnot. And quite often I found myself just fixated on uh, the the flame of the candle. And I'd be sitting there for like sometimes an hour or two or just staring at the candle. I don't think people really noticed because I wasn't paying attention to what was going on um, with the events and the speakers and whatnot. I'd just be watching the candle flame and I'd slowly start to watch the flickering of the flame and then the sparks popping and then eventually little pieces of the burnt wick would fall into the candle wax and the candle wax would be turning and there'd be a current in there and you could watch it with the, with the little black pieces. And I'm pretty sure that was a form of meditation because I'd lose track of time and it helped me get through that that event, whatever it might be, it might have been. <laughs> but I did that quite often as a kid. Also as a kid, I quite often would end up focusing on a leaf or a blade of grass. I'd just be out doing my own things. As an only child, I did a lot of stuff by myself. Or sometimes with my dog or my grandparents' dog if I was at my grandparents' farm. And I'd just be sitting there focusing on, a, on a piece of grass and through focusing on that piece, piece of grass I, uh, I knew about photosynthesis and I could, I could envision the photosynthesis working inside the piece of grass and see how it was connected to other things and how it was almost a metaphor for life and other aspects of life and I'd be sitting there getting all this from just a piece of grass. I did that quite often as a kid too. Uh, honestly I think smart devices and whatnot have kind of disconnected us from doing that. Um, we fill up so much of our time with with games and Facebook and social media and everything else when we don't just take the time to to really just focus in on something small and allow that to open our minds up. I think I want to be doing more of that lately. I think I'm gonna try. Uh, when my smart device uh, kicked it a couple weeks ago, I was I, actually a couple months ago. I was I was kind of disappointed to say the least because it had become such an intricate part of my life. But it kind of kicked me out of the habit of carrying it around in my pocket with me, like everywhere I went, to the bathroom, to everywhere I went. Now it doesn't come into the bedroom with me. It do I don't wake up and check the time on it and check my Facebook. I leave that until later on in the day. Um, I take it with me when I go out simply because I don't have a watch. <laughs> um, and it's nice to have the camera part of it too, but I'm learning to put it down more, which is which is good. I've learned to do use listening to, I like, I like metal and rock and new metal, uh, so I've learned to put on that and start playing Sudoku on my smart device. After a couple of car accidents I've been in, I get migraines pretty bad every once in a while and painkillers just don't touch them. But, uh, but doing this with the music and the Sudoku or solitaire or something simple uh, takes my mind off it enough. I don't know, I use it as pain management. I also use it for when I'm in a really shitty mood. If I remember to do it, sometimes I don't always remember to do it, but 
afterwards I'm like, oh shit, I should have done that. But it, it works better than painkillers a lot of the time. I guess it's just enough to get my mind off of it. I don't know if it's a form of meditation or not, but it um, it's a mind over matter type of thing and it works for me. Different people have different uh, interpretations of what exactly meditation is. So some people just sitting still and watching uh, nature is a form of meditation. Sitting and listening to music could be a form of meditation, especially if it kind of puts you in a trance. -like. And I have some bands or some songs that if I listen to them long enough, it almost does put me in a trance-like state. Um, but formal meditation where nothing is going on, I just completely clear my mind. I'm having a hard time doing that. But an easier time since I've been putting down the smart device. I think the smart device is taking my focus away. Anyways, I think, I think that's all I have to say about meditation. I should probably be doing it more is what it comes down to.